YouTube, 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 what's up, it's your boy, Original Dog Man, and um, <clears throat> I just woke up, I'm off today, and when I'm off, I can make some videos, so, this video here, I'm going to address some hate, because this is what I do, I expose people's thoughts and minds, and I expose people's expressions and intentions, all right? So, <clears throat> let's get to it. I got some hate, and I got someone who made a very valid point here. And I'm going to show you why people in this community get shafted. People in this community get fucked over. Now, these comments were on the Sarah Harris videos that I made. Sarah Harris came and commented on my video, then she deleted her comments. Don't know why. Maybe truth hurts. Maybe she was embarrassed. Maybe I'm too vulgar for her. Maybe I'm too truthful to, for her. I don't know. Maybe I'm too truthful for a lot of people. People just don't like the dog man. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to read these comments. Then, I'm going to reply to them in video format since this is YouTube, not you type. So, the first comment was from Luca Zanik. This dude may, I don't know, from the from Europe, the UK somewhere. I'm not sure. Maybe he's from the United States. But this is his comment. <clears throat> he says, this video is stupid. You don't even make an effort to turn your camera vertical. My phone, my camera phone vertical. You expect someone to send you perfume for review. And you expect someone to send you perfume for review. Two mistakes here that this dude made. He assumed that I didn't turn my camera vertical. What he wanted to say is that I should have turned my camera horizontal so that you guys can get the full picture. But I don't like making videos like that. I just don't. Not on my camera phone anyway. Number two, he says, and I expect someone to send me perfume. Well, I'll be down. For all my subscribers and all the people who's been watching this channel for a while, please go to this motherfucker and tell him that I've never expected anyone to send me a fucking thing. And I don't do endorsements. I don't clout chase and I don't do none of that bullshit. I don't accept handouts and freebies and I do not monetize my fucking videos. So it says, this video is stupid. You don't even make an effort to turn your camera vertical. Like this. This is vertical. Vertical means up and down, motherfucker. Horizontal means sideways. If I turn my camera sideways, you get a bigger view of the fucking room. But I don't really want to do that because I don't want you guys to focus on anything else except for me. And what the fuck I'm saying in my message. That's more important than the fucking camera, than the fucking video and the graphics and all this other bullshit. 4K, whatever, right? Focus on the fucking message. This is why I do this. One of the reasons why. Right? Plus, I like to look sometimes dead in the camera. I don't want to look to the side when I'm making the fucking video. That's just that. And that shit is subjective. So what the fuck? Fuck is wrong with this dude? So he says, this video is stupid. You don't even make an effort to turn your camera vertical. And you expect someone to send you perfume for review. No, I really don't. She is a professional. That's your subjective fucking opinion, whether she's professional or not. Professional, professional or not. And it shows straight away. No, what shows is her sex appeal. Now, if you want to call sex appeal professional, that's your fucking dick thinking for your brain. Understand that, you little cuck ass motherfucker. And it shows straight away. She has the looks too. Yeah, see, this is the thing that these motherfucking cuck beta males think. See, real men, we don't think like this. Real men, we think with our brains first, then our hearts, then our dicks. Cuck beta males, they think with their dick first. Understand that shit, people. That's what a lot of you motherfuckers need to understand. A real man doesn't fall for fucking sex appeal first. Never, ever, ever, ever. 
We all fall for that shit. All right? We can look. We can say, damn, she looks good. But at the same time, we pull back. Because we've been through this. We've been through the little teeny boppers. These little bitch ass hoes, these skinny ass bitches who are thoughts and all they do is pop their ass, shake their ass, show their tits and all this shit, right? Been through real men. We know it. We know what's up with these motherfucking women. These fucking women are the types of women who, who help destroy society and help destroy the family unit. All right? They call them home wreckers. Peep game, people. This is what's truth. All right? So let's go on to the second comment, all right? Now, this comment is by Danny James. You guys can go back to the Sarah Harris videos and peep game and go to the Luke Zanuck. He has his own YouTube channel. The Danny James, this is another sock account. But I'm going to go off and read what he says anyways because I want to let this Danny James motherfucker, whoever is behind this profile, know what's really up and what's really real because this dude has no fucking clue. So let me take a swig. And we'll get into this motherfucker. Danny James says, would you not try to endorse, get endorsement from a beautiful woman over a guy? Let me tell you something, bitch. In my video, I said I don't blame Mr. Schmelly for trying to get endorsement from Sarah Harris. The fact of the matter is, he's leeching. So is Steven. All these motherfuckers are trying to leech off of this woman because, because of her clout on Instagram. That's number one. Now I've addressed that shit. But number two, one of the most sold motherfucking colognes out there, out here. And I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to show you what it is. Little bitch ass motherfucker. One of the most sold motherfucking colognes out here. And I'm going to show you motherfuckers what it, what it is. And it has a man behind the fucking cologne. Savage, bitch. You don't need women all the time fucking endorse your shit to get sales. Johnny Depp is the man behind this fucking cologne. Johnny Depp. But not only that. The fucking cologne speaks for itself. And honestly, you didn't need Johnny Depp to endorse this bitch. So when you say stupid, subjective shit like this, understand what the fuck you're saying. Because when I pull something like this out, this proves that what you're saying is fucking garbage, okay? Bitch ass motherfucker. Let me put this in your face so you can see just exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. And keep Johnny Depp in your mind whenever you think of stupid shit like this. And he says, J he says, get in the real world. I took business management, bitch. That's right. I took business management. So I do know about business and marketing. And marketing is just one aspect of business management, you stupid cock boy. Cuck ass motherfucker. All right, then he goes on. He says, get in the real world. If you spent more time educating yourself on how business works, rather being jealous and whiny lesbian, you may elevate yourself to a better life. Better life. See, this is the, these are the words these motherfuckers like to import. Better life. What the fuck is a better life to you, bitch? All of this shit is subjective, you dumbass. The fuck is a better life? Bitch, as far as I'm concerned, I'm living my better life. What's better to you is not going to be better to me or better for me. He said, you may elevate yourself. Elevate myself. Elevate myself to what? To, to, to Bill Gates status? Where I hoard all the money and collect all the money and not share? While other people are starving, while I become a billionaire and, and pocket billions of money, you think I'm going to elevate myself to a, to a better life, a better person by being greedy? Huh? Is that what you think? Let's read it again. On how business works. Get in the real world. If you spent more time educating yourself on how business works 
rather rather being a rather than being a jealous whiny lesbian. Jealous. Another moral term he imported. Jealous. Why why would I be jealous? Because I ain't getting shit. <laughs> because no one's sending me perfume. I don't ask for perfume. I don't accept freebies and handouts. So why the fuck would I? Because I don't have tits. I'm a fucking man. I don't want to be a woman. So why the fuck would I be jealous? I'm a fucking alpha male, bitch. Understand that first and foremost. I would never ever want to be a fucking woman. I would never want to play that role of a woman, oh bitch ass motherfucker. Maybe that's in your thinking. Maybe you're a beta male. Maybe you're a cuck boy. You see, and then he goes on, he says, um, and not have to live in that hovel, and you may even be able to get yourself some tissue. Oh, so so that's what you did. You elevated yourself so that you can get yourself some tissue. <laughs> Man, what the fuck is wrong with you, dude? You say some stupid shit like this, man, and it just proves to me and to many people on YouTube how fucking stupid you really are. You, you when you make a statement like this, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of Kevin Samuels, the dude that I've been talking about in my videos about how money controls motherfuckers like you. About how money and power controls bitches like you. <laughs> But take all that shit away and what the fuck does a motherfucker like you have? Nothing. You probably couldn't even survive in a fucking forest. When the nitty gritty gets down and dirty and fucking we hit the end of this fucking society. When society and, and the economy crash, how the fuck are you going to survive? And I'm going to say this shit again. It's not how much a man has that makes him a man, but how little he needs. And you say you call this place a hovel or hovel, whatever the fuck that word is. I like my little place, bro. I'm actually in love with this place. I am very comfortable where I'm at in life. So I don't know why you would make this shit. I don't know how the fuck you came and judged me. Or, or try to weigh out my my shit here. But you fucking read it wrong, man. You totally read this shit wrong. You call me an idiot. But you're the idiot for coming and making a statement like this. Danny James. So the last comment here. I'm going to talk about, guys. This is Panoi Kiwi Sense. And this is my dude, my uh, my homie. Right, this is a good comment. This isn't a bad comment. Now, I'm just going to paraphrase this. And this is what I want to talk about, talk to you guys about, uh, about how these top tier motherfuckers and these leeches fucking um, misuse people like us. Or try to misuse people like us. He says, um, he sent Mr. Schmelly a message and he asked Mr. Schmelly and he told Mr. Schmelly that he would pay full price for a bottle of Gravitas, a bottle of Gravitas uh, cologne. And he asked Mr. Schmelly to send it to New Zealand. And Mr. Smelly said he couldn't do it. I don't know where Sarah Harris is from, but I pray to God that she's not from New Zealand. Because if she's from New Zealand, Mr. Smelly is going to be really fucked. I might have to go do some research and see where the fuck Sarah Harris is from.
But my boy, Panoi Kiwi Sense said he would send him full price. He would pay for it full price. And Mr. Smiley said, nope. Question. Is it because of his skin color, Mr. Smelly? Is it because of Mr. Panoi Kiwi Sense skin color? He has a little he has a little tan like me, man. He look like my brother. Panoi Kiwi Sense. You know, you claim you ain't racist, but I don't see where you sent any other person who is down where we are a fucking free gravitas or even a sample see what i'm saying people this is the shit man if if this motherfucker can't leech or he can't do a quid pro quo he don't give a fuck he just don't give a fuck <laughs> You're either going to be fair and square legit as a company. Or you're going to sell yourself to the devil. And sometimes, that's why I have some respect for certain companies. You know, I have a level of respect. Now I'm not going to say full respect. Because I don't know what the innards of all companies do. But I have a level of respect like for Chanel. The reason why I have a level of respect for Chanel. Because their prices are maintained. They stay the same. They don't really discount them or anything like that. For any, any fucking company or any discount site. Right? They may go down a little. But they basically stay the same. So I hold and I maintain a level of respect for that company. You know, this is why I feel like these fucking comments should be addressed so you guys can see. You guys can understand. Especially with this Luca Zanuck and this Danny James. And then see the, you know, the final thoughts with Pinoy Kiwi Sense of how the little man gets fucked over. You got the company, then you got the middleman, then you got us. And sometimes it's the company, the company is the middleman. So therefore they can play both sides. Like Mr. Schmelly, like Steven. Steven is a company and he is his own middleman. Mr. Schmelly is his own company and he is his own middleman. So he gets to fuck over whoever he wants in this community with no consequence. No motherfucker, that's not how this shit works. Well, it can work like that, and it is working like that, but not without consequence. Not without a motherfucker like me taking a couple dollars out of your motherfucking pocket. Yeah, my videos are going to hurt you, bitch. My videos will hurt you. It may not be in the pocket, but people will look at you strangely. People will look at you weird. People will look at you with disdain when they watch my videos. End of fucking story.